What's going on everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Friday and we're going to rip open some baseball today. It's going to be a comparison edition. Comparison edition of some product that you actually should, you probably will you know, stumble across when you're out in the, out in the field. If you uh, go into a Walmart, just a good chance you might find some of it. If you go on Target.com right now, it's still there. What are we going to rip open today? Well, it's going to be a comparison of some non-licensed. Oh, it's going to be time for some Prism Baseball. We got ourselves a Mega Box, we got a Blaster Box, and we have a Cello Pack. And we're going to rip open all these and see just, you know, what's worth buying. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on Friday, and it's comparison edition of Prism Baseball. Now we all know, you know, the Prism's non-licensed. We all okay. I'll just get that out of the get that out of the way right now. That's a that's a that's a big red flag right there for me. But outside of that, the cards are pretty nice. They're the exact same as the football and basketball uh, looks like. Um, so there's there's obviously it's the same product there. Um, but they're they've been known to have some hits. I have some buddies of mine who've pulled some damn good autographs and some uh, stained glass, some quality cards. So are we gonna pull them? I don't know. But we're gonna rip these open. But before we rip open the Prism lineup of product, before we even think about opening these things, you know what you should do? Hit that like button and the subscribe button and notification bell. Leave a comment. Have you been opening in Prism this year? What have you got? I mean, I've done it once. I did the blaster when I did the Topps Chrome Mega. And I will say, I was pretty pissed off with quality control. But look right here, there's a giant crease. Panini, come on. What the hell? You guys, I have crap that's been sitting there since November. Um, your quality control and then this is oh man come on in your yeah i mean if you can really you can really see there in the crease it's a giant crease there you look on the back you see in the lighting there Pache in there these uh god damn it are you kidding me another one look at that corner right there look at that the hell is that Panini. this is fresh out of the pack it's got a dinged up corner already yeah so hopefully it's not a redo of that. Let's hope not, Panini. You already have a bad track record for quality control. But yeah, leave a, um, you know, hit me up, friend request me, uh, send a say hello, uh, follow me, do all that fun stuff over here at the social medias. And guess what? <laughs> I don't have to do it anymore. We reached 500 on the giveaway for the subscriber giveaway. So I believe on Tuesday what I will do is I'm going to put out a video only for the subscriber uh, giveaway. What is it? It was 20 packs, 20 random packs of the NBA hoops from the Dollar Tree. Five cards per pack, yellow cards, yellow parallels included. Good cards are in here. And we're gonna be doing the giveaway on Tuesday. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video. I'll do, I'll shoot it all and then I'll upload it Tuesday. We will announce the giveaway, the 20 winners who are going to be getting these. And then you'll just follow suit how you'll contact me. And, or maybe we'll just meet up. And you know what, we'll go to, uh, uh, we'll go to salsa and beer and have some Mexican food and um, enjoy and imbibe in sports on TV as I give you your pack and say, hey, I'm gonna have another uh, Flamin' Taquito or uh, I'm gonna have another California burrito or screw it, I'm gonna have another margarita. Anyway, so these will we'll do that on Tuesday. Thank you everybody for subscribing. Thank you so much. Onward and upward, you know what I'm saying? Onward and upward. So are you ready to rip open some non-licensed Panini Prism Baseball. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then I'll just, should just turn off the cameras or... Oh, you, okay, good. All right, well, let's go. We're gonna start off with the Cello Pack. That's right, a Cello Pack. Um, we have 12 cards in here, a total of 18 cards. We have a six pack bonus uh, pack, six card bonus pack. 18 cards in here. Now, I did pick this up at Walmart for 15 bucks and tax. So when you look at it, there's you know 18 cards. There's 36 cards. So if you look at the the, the blaster box, two of these is the same price as the blaster box of Walmart's charging. Not really a good deal, but let's just see. 
what exactly is going on here. So here we are, 12 cards, base, uh, and then the 18, uh, six bonus pack cards, probably red, white, and blue, probably pink, I don't know. But let's see what we got here. Yeah, red, white, and blue, Prism Parallel. This is right here on the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of hiding like that. All right, Ribbon Packs, Cello Pack, Prism Baseball, let's go. Okay. And this is what you get right there, two packs. And we're gonna start with the old fashioned 12 pack. You ready? Let's go, Ribbon Packs, yeah. Okay, let's see if we get some really messed up cards. Here we got Alec Manoa of the Toronto Blue Jays. Pitching his ass off. This guy is lights out right now for the Blue Jays. Um, he's, turn, he's pretty much their ace, and yeah, he's a good one. Tucker Davidson for the Atlanta uh, Braves. Rookie card. So right off the bat, we'll get some good rookies. Uh, Nolan Arenado there with the Cardinals. As you know, he was traded from the Rockies to the Cardinals. Cardinals still in the playoff hunt. Then we have Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. Couldn't tell you because this is San Francisco, but we all know the Giants. Luis Garcia for Houston. He's a, I guess he's a, not a front runner, but he's in the running for the American League Rookie of the Year. I don't think he's gonna win, honestly, but he's in the running. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. He is out for the year, and you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Willie Stargell pops for the Pirates. You're gonna go into the vet pile, which I'm gonna make a vet pile, because I think, yeah. That, that, that's funny, because they have done a lot of vets in this. Babe Ruth, speaking of vets, I think you might have heard of this guy. He, uh, this guy, uh, Shohei Otani, has been pretty much replicating what he can do. But Babe Ruth going into the vet pile. Bob Gibson, old school, going into the vet pile as well. Good old Bob Gibson, stud pitcher, rest in peace, just died this last year. Um, one of the dominant pitchers in that uh, late 60s, early 70s era. Then Luis Castillo for the Reds, the ace pitcher for the Reds right now. Hey, silver prism of Jesus Sanchez, who, if you saw the play the other day, he just, uh, he had a nice little grab in the middle of the, free, you know, literally just barehanded, Kevin Mitchell-esque uh, play, um, pop fly. And yeah, nice little rookie hit. And then we have ourselves stargazing with Shane Bieber. Uh, yeah, so that's cello pack. Still got a red, white, and blue. It was meh, it was a whole bunch of meh. But red, white, and blue, what you gonna give us? Six cards, hopefully something's good. Let's go. All right, we got a Randy Arazarena with Illumination. I've been throwing Randy in the hit pile because A, he's good. He's probably, gonna, there's a good chance he's gonna win Rookie of the Year. But um, also, um, any second year cards if, of a quality player I throw into the hit pile. He's one of them. Randy Arazarena. I'm gonna make some room down here for him in the hits. Then Taylor Jones, red, white, and blue rookie for the Astros. I cannot tell you who he is because I actually do not know, but he's going in the rookie pile. Randy Johnson, big unit, going in the vets. I love me, Randy. Uh, says uh, Arizona, kinda wish it was a Mariners one. I don't PC the Mariners, but that's the Randy Johnson that I grew up with. Sixto for the Miami Marlins. Uh, the other Sanchez rookie, known as over there in Florida. Jose Barrios. Then with the Twins, now with the Blue Jays, traded over for Austin Martin and Simeon Woods Richardson, going into the, well, commons. And then Yvonne Rodriguez, Pudge, going into the Vets. So, cello pack right there was a whole bunch of meh. Yeah, just a whole bunch of meh. But how will this blaster box treat us? Picked it up at Target, uh, 30 bucks. You could still pick it up right now if you wanted to. $30, four packs, uh, six packs of four cards, plus one bonus eight card pack. Now, the parallels in here are a purple, and green wave. The Walmart version had the white wave, but the purple parallels were the same, I believe. Uh, it's, I'm not looking back at what I just ripped, but yeah, so let's, uh, I did get an autograph last time I opened the, the blaster box. It was bent from the factory, and then a handful of cards that had some dents in it. So yeah, I don't think that's a shipping thing. I think that's a factory thing, but are we gonna find out? Yeah, might as well. Blaster box, Panini Prism, Ripping Packs, let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we get here in this blaster box, yeah. 
Here we go. Bonus pack of eight cards. Then there is the six packs of four cards base. You ready? Good. Let's go. Pack number one of Prism Baseball Blaster Box. Let's go. All right. We've got Ryan Castellani for the Colorado Rockies. Rookie card, at least. So you're going to go into the rookie pile. Jack Morris with Minnesota, but he's also a Detroit Tigers and Blue Jays great. Uh, I remember him pitching in uh, the World Series for the Twins and was just, just dominant. And a, just, yeah. Ronald Acuna for the Braves, going into the hits. Come back, bud, come back. Baseball needs you. Ronald Acuna. And Mike Soraka for the Braves. So pack number one, we got, mm, yeah, mm, eh, mm. Pack number two, Prism Baseball Blaster Box, let's go. Zach Gallon. Oh, we got nope, just a bunch of base. Zach Gallon for the uh, Diamondbacks. He's been eh, not a good rookie uh, comeback uh, sophomore year, put it that way. Then Willie Adamas with Tampa Bay. Now with the Brewers, actually traded when you thought they were going to free up the time for Wander, and then they just they teased you and brought up Wander a month later. Willie Adamas. Then Helio Ramos with Emergent uh, for the Giants. He's one of the top prospects in uh, baseball. Uh, Got to really look forward to uh, when he gets a chance to actually play. So Helio Ramos going into the rookie pile for now, but it will be a prospect. And then Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Uh, he's a, there's a chance for him to win Rookie of the Year 2 and I, it's not that I don't think he deserves it, it's just that he was runner-up last year because of the weird season, so one thing I will say also too with Prism, if you notice on the back, so they have different tiers, kind of like, um, kind of like what Select does. This is Tier 2, and Tier 2, Tier 3, they're a little bit more rare, but Ryan Mountcastle, Rookie card, Tier 2, nice. Pack number, uh, what, 3 of the Blaster Box. Let's go. Okay, Trevor Story for the Rockies. Surprised that he was not traded this year. Frankie Lindor for the Mets, who's... Eh, he's a good player. He's just, I think New York's just really kind of getting to him. Blake Snell for the Padres. Did we just get a bunch of traded players? No, almost traded players. Blake Snell and George Brett for the Royals. Going into the vet pile. Shout out to my buddy Kurt, who is a big George Brett honk. Pack number four of Prism Baseball. Let's go. All right. Oh, we got a white one. Ooh. Alec Manoa, we just pulled in the cello pack. So nice. Going to go into the rookie pile. Junior, going in the PC with the old school like that. Good old Junior. Make a little room for you on the PC. Then we have a Sluggers White. I don't know if that's, I'll put below what that is, of Aaron Judge. And guess what? He goes in the PC pile too with the Sluggers White. I don't know if that's numbered or anything. It is not, so it might not be anything special, but I'll put below what it was. And Slam and Sammy, who, yeah, had some awesome years with the Cubs, but we found out why he had some awesome years. Oh, yeah. Sammy Sosa. That pile. Pack number five of Prism Baseball. Last box, let's go. All right, we got Tucker Davidson. Ooh, nothing highlights my rip like a Tucker Davidson card getting pulled. Nolan Arenado, we just pulled him a second ago out of the cello pack, so hopefully we're not getting a repeat. Mike Yastrzemski, okay, we are. And Cody Whitley, a, uh, with a little print line on there. Uh, rookie card for the Cardinals. Uh, yeah, Cody Whitley. Blaster Box has not been very hot. Last pack of the Blaster Box before we get to the bonus. Let's go. <laughs> Man, this is Luis Garcia, who we just talked about. Okay. JT Rio Muto, the catcher for the Phillies, who signed a nice little contract extension. He's going to be their catcher for a few more years. Corey Seeger with the fireworks. Fireworks! At least going to go into the PC pile there. Good old Corey Seeger. And Josh Hader for the Brewers, the closer who just throws heat and gas while he's at it. So the base of that blaster kind of sucked, be honest with you here. But we got our, our purple and 
green wave bonus pack. Eight cards in here. Let's make up for it. All right, let's go. Ribbon packs. Right off the bat. I would say made up for it, but a nice little pull. Got Junior with the purple. I love that. Going into the PC, as you just heard about Griffey. Zach, please, Zach, for the uh, Indians. They're uh, well, number two, number three pitcher for them. So going into the inserts. Randy Johnson going into the vet pile. So, okay, I mean, you know, I like Randy, but still. Then Chris Bubik, rookie card for the Royals. So, yeah, nothing, uh, yeah, this is, let's, let's, come on. We got four more green here. Let's do something good with these greens. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice, oh, is that a, what the hell is that? Is that a print line? Uh, Jared Kelnick there, that's, Nice, but what the hell is this right here? Up here, you'll see it right there. What is that? Looks like a massive, like they forgot to print something there. Oh boy. Come on, Panini. I, dude, dude, dude. I'm glad you put him in here. I'm glad he's got his rookie card logo on there. But, dude, what the hell? <sighs> Jared Kilnick, though. Yeah, that's a massive print. And they all, god damn it. Austin Meadows for the Rays with the exact same era area print line right there. Manny Machado, why couldn't yeah Manny Machado? No, that's just the that's just the uh, the uh, the field there. Manny Machado and Fearless Bryce Harper. Right, it's going into the PC pile at least. Fearless with Bryce with the Green Wave. Oh man, you guys, God damn it, Panini, you really know how to really. You're charging a premium for it's it's it was not even green waved if you will it was like totally you forgot to do it's hard to see it um, out there but they forgot to do the green wave part on here ah I mean it's a one eBay one of one eBay one of one right here yeah mmm so the blaster box but it's time for the mega says we're gonna get an autograph. Are we? I don't know, it's Panini. I don't know. Uh, we have four cards of how many packs? 12 packs, 10 packs, 10 packs, one bonus 12 card pack. And we are getting an autograph on average. Maybe it's points, I don't know. Maybe it's a damaged card, I don't know. But it's Panini after all. Yeah, and the, and the 12 card pack is a Carolina blue and pink. Are you ready? Let's just get this over with, Rip packs. Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. Okay. This was 50 bucks. Target.com. Walmart does sell these as well. I think they're $50 as well. I don't know for sure because I knew I had these on the way. I know the configuration's a little bit different on the Target versus Walmart versions. May just be the colors on the parallels. We'll find out though. Here we go. And who do you collect? I don't know, but we'll see if it's Panini anymore after this. All right, there are our packs. Here is our bonus pack, and here are our 10 packs of four cards. Hopefully, there's some gold in here. Hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully. Bring back, pack number one of the Mega Box. Let's go. All right, Victor Gonzalez going into the PC, but we'll go into the rookie pile for right now for the Dodges. Jose Mamalamos, Mamalamos of the Mariners, rookie card. And then Shane McClanahan of the McClanahans. And guess what, guys? I'm PCing him because I pull him at everything right now. Not really, but he's going somewhere. Then Luis Garcia for the Nationals with a green parallel for the uh, rookie card for the Nationals. So, yeah, rookie hot pack. There we go. Luis Garcia, he's young. He's, he's, you know, he could end up having like a career like Starling Castro, which would be great for him as a player, but for the hobby, not so much. Pack number two, Mega Box. Let's go. And then we got ourselves a Jose Garcia for the Reds, uh, affectionately known now as Jose Barrios, if you did not know. Um, he's a good one. Just, yeah, he's a good one. Ramon Urias for the Orioles, uh, rookie card. Anthony Santander for the Orioles. Do not know much about him, but I make fun of his name. And then I guess it was nothing special. The Sluggers 
white Dominic Smith. Nothing special, probably. It's just the way the card is manufactured. So the base card. Sluggers, Dominic Smith going into the inserts. Pack number two of Prism Mega Box. Let's go. Three, actually three. Um, Ramon Laureano for the A's. He's out for the next, like, I don't know, about 50 more games after a testing positive, some PEDs. Getting that enhancement going. Luis Patino, rookie card for, we got a silver coming up, for the uh, Rays. Um, kind of going back and forth, but he's a good young pitcher. I think he's like 20 years, 21 years old. Came from the Padres to the Blake Snell deal. Trey Turner with the Illumination. Then with the Nats, now with the Dodgers. Traded not too long ago, if you remember that. And our last card is really Trevor Bauer for the Dodgers with the silver. Yes, it's going into PC, but really this is the silver I pull. This is the effing silver I pull. He's not gonna be a Dodger next year. For God's sake, I don't even know if he's playing next year. All right, we got pack number five, four, five, whatever, of the Mega Box from Panini Prism. Let's go. Okay, I'll shred this one. Jeez. All right, well, we get Trevor Bauer again. Woohoo! I'm not even gonna show it to you. Tanner Houck uh, for the Red Sox, rookie card going into PC, but now, right now, for the rookie pile. Aaron Nola for the Phillies, uh, kind of their ace, but not so much this year. And championship stage with Cody Bellybomb Bellinger, who is hitting not even my weight. Actually, he's not even hitting his weight either. He's in like a buck sixty. So, yeah, come back next year, Cody. Just put up Mulligan on this year. We have what six packs left. So, yeah, six packs left. So, yeah, pack, that was pack number four. Pack number five. Prism baseball mega box. Let's go. Got a blue. Got a blue coming up here. We got William Contreras for the Braves, rookie catcher, brother of Wilson Contreras of the Cubs. Christian Javier, he's pitching really good for the uh, Astros. He's kind of a spot starter, middle reliever guy, but he's he's got a he's he's doing pretty good. I like him. We got a blue. Looks like a uh, of Daniel Johnson. I don't can't remember the terminology of this. I'll put below exactly what it is. That's that's kind of a cool card. It looks like it's a mojo or uh, yeah, I don't know if it's numbered. It is numbered uh, 37 of 199. So it's a rookie card at least. And then Jose Abreu with Lumber Inc. Jose Abreu is a solid player. He just gets no hobby love because he's one of those players who just came in the league at, a, you know, like at 28 years old. But he's a solid player. Just doesn't get a lot of love. Pack number six of the Prism Mega Box. Let's go. All right, David Peterson, rookie card for the Mets. It says New York, but I know those colors. They're the Mets. Ryan Weathers, rookie card for the Padres, started really good. I think he, there's still there's still a lot of potential with this kid, so I wouldn't give up on him. If you collect pitchers or any or you want to prospect on pitchers, he's a good one. Then Luis Gonzalez for the White Sox, rookie card there, and our last card is Joey Gallo with the green. So, yeah, really setting my parallels on fire with the big names here, Panini. Way to go. Hey, at least the, my cards are well, except for the green wave there, Kelnick are kind of centered or kind of good i don't know pack number six six seven eight nine seven pack number seven mega box let's go garrett cole for the yankees ace pitcher gets paid a lot of money and he's pitching better now he kind of was able to get the whole pine tar thing going you know out of his head Braxton Garrett, rookie card for the Marlins. Can't say I actually know who he is, so I actually, sorry. Then we have Illumination with Luis Robert, our actual first hit player, if you will. I know, that's crazy. We've opened almost the entire box and we have pulled one hit. And then another Jose Abreu for the White Sox. Three packs left. Pack number eight. Mega box. Prism. So far, I would say maybe a blaster box, but we haven't got an autograph yet. And well, I think we got one right here. I think we got our yeah, we got our autograph. So we'll skip. We'll wait on that one. We'll go to our other two packs. Pack number nine. 
got Big Mac, Mark McGuire for the Cardinals going into the vet pile, the first vet we pulled in this so far. Cody Bellinger, you've heard the story on him, going into the PC pile. Mookie Betts going into the PC pile. Not having a Mookie Betts here, but you come back. And then a silver, hey, at least a silver of Helio Ramos. So I just pulled him a second ago in the blaster box, but now silver, that's nice. Um, these aren't gonna be worth a ton, but he's a good prospect. Okay, last pack before we get to our autograph. Pack number 10, Mega Box Prism, let's go. Jose Ramirez for the Cleveland Tribe, or soon to be known as the Guardians. Trevor Rogers, he's a front runner for the Rookie of the Year, if, you, if they're uh, gonna consider him a pitcher for this year. Um, yeah, Jonathan India probably has it locked up. I still like Jazz Chisholm and I still love Dylan Carlson, but Dylan's, he had a pedestrian year, but he'll he end up having a better career, I think. Trent Grisham for the Padres. I throw him in the hip out just as he's a second year player, like I mentioned, a second year kind of star type player. And Nolan Jones with the emergent third base. Cleveland Indians going into the rookie prospect pile. Nolan Jones. Okay, are you ready to take a look at what we got for an autograph? Actually, you know what? Let's do the bonus pack. Let's do the bonus pack first. We have the bonus pack of Carolina Blue and Pink cards. Are you ready? Why not? 12 cards. Let's go. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get ready, get ready for some color here. Craig Biggio. Going into the vets with the Carolina Blue. I, I gotta say, they're pretty snazzy looking cards. Snazzy, that's the word of the day. And then Jonathan Stever for the White Sox with the uh, Carolina Blue. Rookie card, going to the rookie card pile. Taylor Jones, uh, I already mentioned I don't know anything about him, but you're gonna go to the rookie card pile. Randy Johnson, so I pulled, Jesus, I pulled like nine Randy Johnsons today. Cool, I like Randy, but still. Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. Uh, having a solid year, but he's not the 40 home run guy anymore. So yeah, Paul Goldschmidt. Justin Turner going into the PC for the Dodges. Have, he's having a solid year again. We have a lot more pink than I thought we had. Eloy Jimenez, I throw him in the hits because he's good and he's young. Is he a hit? Not really, but to me he is. And that's all that matters, it's my hit pile. Pools, same thing with him. He's gonna be a Hall of Famer, and I throw Hall of Famers that are playing right now into that hit pile. Joey Bart, rookie card, pink. Um, I like Joey, I think he's gonna have a good career. Is he gonna be a rookie to really buy into? I personally wouldn't, just because by the time he gets any playing time, he's gonna be 27 years old. Yeah, Joey Bart, rookie pile. Noah Syndergaard, who hasn't pitched in two years, and well, he has, he's tried to, and then his arm said, F you, I'm not playing anymore. Brooks Robinson, going into the vets. And Will Craig going into, wow, that looks like it's been double printed the way the style on the card is. It's very thick. Going into the rookie pile. All right, so let's just, let's just get to it. Let's get to our autograph. All right, let's pull the back card out first so we can at least, we got an Ian Anderson rookie class for the Braves uh, going into the rookie pile. Corey Seager for the Dodgers going into the PC pile for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Then Ha Seong Kim for the Padres, who's getting his chance to play a little mid middle infield now that Fernando moved back to the uh, back to the out, out to the outfield. But we'll see what happens there with him. And our autograph is D H R E D H rookie autograph. So it's rookie autograph. Dwight Henry? No. Uh, let's see. It's a DH. Let's see if we have Detroit. Derek Hill. Number 299. Derek Hill. I do not know who he is. I will put below his information. Not the Detroit Tiger autograph I'm looking for. I'd take Casey Mize. Take, uh, you know, Tariq Skubal. Um, take Isaac Paredes. For rookies, if you want, I mean, I'll go gladly. I'll take Riley Green or Spencer Torkelson, but Derek Hill, that's who I get. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There is your Panini Prism, um, yeah, um, comparison video. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't waste your money. 
I mean, I'm. it's there, it's available, I get it, I get you want to rip something, but I mean, if you're gonna do anything, maybe the blaster box, but I mean, you're talking 30 bucks for what I pulled there, and yeah, the kiln looks nice, but it's got it's got print damages already, and it's, I mean, come on. And again, it's a non-licensed, so it's already, gonna, it's already got an uphill battle from there. The Mega Box, yeah, you've got some parallels there, but I mean, come on, I've only pulled a couple star cards, if you will, some all-stars or hits, if you will. Um, a lot of color, I'll give you that. If you want parallels and colors, that's what, but that's what Panini does. Um, I'll just go honestly over the hits real quick because there's not a lot of them. The hits, I would say for the cello pack, well, there was two hits. The Jesus Sanchez Silver, which is nice. I, I give it that. And I, I do think he's going to be a solid rookie. And the Alec Manoa, which is uh, off center left to right there. Alec Manoa. Those are your two hits for the for the cello. Uh, for the blaster box, obviously Kelnick um, is our big hit right there with his eBay one of one print issue there. Um, yeah, another, uh, we got a Mount Castle base, which, okay, I'll take that. And then the Helio Ramos Emergent, I'll take that. Came to stars, we got one damn star card. It was Acuna, and it was a base Acuna at that. Yeah, so, um, the Mega Box, yeah, we got a bunch more rookies, but, I mean, it's not any rookies you're gonna, like, scream that you got. I mean, yeah, maybe, no, I mean, I, I like Joey Bart. I'm not gonna show him, though. Um... We got the Helio Ramos there. That would be maybe the honestly that might be the best damn card in here. The silver Helio Ramos. Um, the Daniel Johnson. I come on, he's not a prospect in my eyes. He's not a, you know he's a rookie. Yeah, but yeah. Um, Luis Garcia. Yeah, I mean honestly, this if you're gonna if you're you're getting yes you're getting the guaranteed auto in the mega box but when it's all said and done the blaster box may be the way to go if you do want to buy something to rip it's available on target right now you could easily get the mega box you could easily get the blaster boxes um walmart has the markup for 35 dollars on the blasters like i said 15 bucks a pack on the cello that cello was not worth five dollars let alone 15. so yeah i really am i don't mind prism non-licensed as a product to rip but when you're having when you have that massive increase in price it doesn't justify it not when you don't have the license like what they had with select select was a nice product but when you're charging 20 bucks for 12 cards that's not going to cut it and then the same thing here 30 bucks for you know the the, the uh you know for the blaster box you're talking about you know 24 cards and then uh you know, an extra, uh, what, six cards, eight cards there? So 32 cards, that's a little, little under a buck a card. It's not, yeah, you have 52 cards in the in the mega box. So you're talking just under a buck a card as well there. It's not, yeah. Again, if you're looking to rip, you're looking to just have some baseball cards to rip, fine, that's great. But when you're looking, if you're looking for anything that like, you really hope something retains a little bit of value, I don't know. Maybe just stay away. I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching Rippin' Packs on this uh, awesome Friday. Well, kinda awesome Friday. So, um, that like button, just push it. The subscribe button, just push it. Notification bell, push it if you want. Leave a comment. Was there anything in here you were like, okay, dude, I actually like that card, or I'm actually a fan of prison baseball, or dude, why are you ripping open prison baseball? It's crap, I don't know. But, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, follow me, all those fun things below. And then, like I mentioned, on Tuesday, I will be doing the video that has the giveaway winners. The 20 random, uh, we're going to do the randomizer. 20 people will get the packs, and you will know who you are. So pay attention. Come back on Tuesday to watch that. But on Monday, I'm coming back to do a good old-fashioned generic rip. And what are we ripping? I don't know yet. We'll see what shows up this weekend. But yeah, Monday, uh, we'll work up on something. So have yourself a great weekend. My daughter will have another great game on Sunday, and we'll be some football on Sunday, and go Niners. We're going to go for 3-0, and and yeah, we're facing the pack, but yeah, we can do it. Have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. Take care.